friends welcome to open source book so till now we have seen uh, the drupal installation and few steps that you are going to take after drupal has been installed now this video should have come a bit later but uh, uh, what has happened is we have a newer version of drupal and that message is coming up again and again so i decided that we'll discuss about this here itself so let's so let's log in to our website you have to log in as administrator of course once you're logged in in certain sections you will find this message popping up saying uh, updates are available so drupal keeps on releasing new uh, core updates uh, some bug fixes and other things so what is here is we have 9.2.10 installed and there is a new release that is 9.3.0 so if we actually go to this particular one and have a look at it okay rather than going here let's open it in a new tab so you will see that 9.3 is there this was released 8th december now uh, what you need to do is if there are any specific changes then it will be mentioned in the release notes otherwise we can uh, proceed uh, in the standard format of updating so you are expected to actually go through all these notes as you learn drupal you will understand most of these things much more properly but uh, for the time being uh, there are it, this does not mention any special thing over here which has to be updated so we'll proceed further so uh, what is to be done obviously we'll be downloading this let's open a terminal go to go to your document root or wherever your drupal is installed so we'll just go there this is where my drupal is installed and i'll use my favorite wget to download this you can download zip or whatever you like so this will get downloaded at some time so by the time it is downloading let us see what are the other steps that we want to take for installation over here yeah, so uh, what we need to do is put our site into maintenance mode for that go to configuration in uh, development you have maintenance mode here you can select this put a message saying we will be back soon okay so here we save the configuration okay so once the configuration is saved uh, you can go to back to your site it shows operating in maintenance mode and we can check this in a private window so if we say localhost we should get a message over here okay so we can see front page is not showing it but we are getting this message site is under maintenance so basically we'll, we'll not be able to access the contents so the next thing that we need to do is to back up our database and uh, before we back up so drupal has this caching mechanism and it uh, creates cache of different pages and other sections which speeds up the content delivery mechanism now uh, when we are backing up we don't actually require this cache so you can actually again will clear off the cache that will reduce the size of the total database that will be backing up so we'll just go to performance and we'll just do a clear cache now once the cache is clear we will back up our website as well as we'll back up our database right so to back up your database you can either use the command line or you can go to php my admin log in as the user uh, you should be having this information with you and if you're not having then uh, just uh, 
look into your sites sites default and there's the settings.php file inside that you'll find this information otherwise this should have been handy with you so we'll log in to this and what we need to do is select the database and simply go to export and we'll just you can use different format but since this is to be used again as a backup we'll keep it in a scale format and just say go now save this file somewhere in the location so let's see for the time being i'll just save it on the data on my desktop let's save the file fine so uh, it's like 8.1 mv database that has been downloaded now once the database is downloaded the next thing is we want to have a backup so you can backup your website by going into this site this section where your Drupal is installed and uh, you have to just create a zip or tar whatever you prefer so let me just uh, move this uh, Drupal which has been downloaded to my home directory for the time being so that it doesn't go into my backup okay so the next thing that we want to do is want to create a backup of our uh, Drupal content Drupal site old installed Drupal so if anything goes wrong we can actually have a backup so over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tar file C -Z -F, and the file name which I want to create is I'll create it at my home directory so desktop okay and the files that we want to copy is all the files from this directory okay so this is going to create a backup okay so if we uh, check this let's do a ls tilt dash desktop and d9 star so you can see that i have both both of them there so my backup is ready so now what has to be done is you can use a file manager or you can use a mm, command line or whatever you prefer okay, so here we have this is the file manager you can work from here itself or from the command line now what has to be done is Drupal our Drupal resides the 8 and 9 onwards Drupal core is inside this and anything that we install like new modules and other things that we'll be discussing later on themes and stuff that go in, goes into modules themes go into themes and in the sites is where uh, our files and other things will get uploaded so primarily our content which uh, we are developing is either into the database or it goes into these sections now what is to be updated is the core basically fine so primarily we need to delete uh, certain files from this and as per Drupal documentation we just need to delete the core and we need to delete your vendor directory fine apart from that whatever files that you see over here if you have not uploaded anything from your site all these files can be deleted uh, sometimes we do make changes to HD access and all so you can keep a backup of uh, these files fine so what I'm going to do is right now we have not done anything so we'll simply even, uh, delete all these files also 
right so this is what is to be done okay so vendor and code fine delete all these files if you have uploaded any icons or any other files or images then you'll have to leave them accordingly and if you are on actual server you might see some other directories don't delete them so only these things are to be deleted so let's go ahead and delete them okay so most of these are deleted now at this time your site will not work so don't go over there now what's the next thing that you need to do is next thing is we need to copy the newer ones from the downloaded Drupal. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the Drupal, downloaded Drupal over here and uncompress it. So okay, so I've copied Drupal over here. Now we simply need to uncompress it. Let's extract here. Okay, so you will see that it's created a Drupal 9.3.0. Now barring these files, we have to copy everything back over here from this directory. Okay, so uh, let's get it done. So modules, profile, site, themes. This is what we have to leave. Now modules, sites, profiles, themes this is what we don't want so i will just say edit invert selection and we'll say copy you can cut it also and paste it but just for safety sake i'm leaving it there for the time okay so we have got all the files back over here and now what you need to do is next step is to run update. So there is a update script which is here. Fine. This is what we need to run. So just go back to your website and over here from your site update.php. This is what you need to run. Yeah. So what this is going to do is if there are any updates, changes uh, required to the database or other other things, it will take care of that. So we'll run the update. So it gives you messages, back up your code, put your site into maintenance mode, back up your database, and then follow the steps accordingly. Now we'll continue with this. So it tells there are some pending updates. You can look up those. If you're interested, you can go to the Drupal site and look for what exactly has happened. Now we'll say apply pending updates. So here the updates are being applied. So what it says is database has been updated, updates were attempted. If you see no failures below, you may proceed happily back to site. So we don't have any kind of failures. And so we can just go back to our front page. Okay, and our site is in working mode. So once your updates are done, uh, what you need to do is you need to go to back to the maintenance mode page and get your site back into the normal condition. And one more thing that you should do once more is just go to this thing and under performance, just run clear all caches once more because sometimes people will continue to receive that your site is in maintenance mode continuously so once the caches are cleared that's it we're done and your site is now updated to the latest version of drupal so i hope you like the video do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching